All right, so we're ready to start building the uh, DF Robot Shop rover. And uh, what we quickly realized is after looking at the box and whatnot, there was no manual on how to build it. What we did was is that we went to robotshop.com and we went under the product page. And sure enough, we were able to find that. We're going to provide that document also on our website. So basically, it's a non-illustrated step-by-step on how to build it. So hopefully this video will help you build what you need to do. So according to the assembly guide, the first thing we need to do, and I'm just going to move some things out of the way here, is build the gearbox. So let's move these tools out of the way. This is basically all the tools we're going to need, by the way, which is going to be a utility knife, Phillips head, probably some wire cutters, and a multipurpose tool. I always have this handy just in case, um, you know, makes it easier so I don't have to start looking around, fumbling around for tools. So we're just going to put these off to the side here. We're going to start off by looking at what the gearbox has inside. So this is basically the Tamiya, uh, Tamiya twin motor gearbox. Uh, we opened it up and we found that there's a bunch of gears, some plastic pieces that we're gonna have to just kind of break off, and uh, two motors. The nice thing again about this kit is that it actually has two motors that you can probably pick up at Radio Shack, so you don't have to do a special order them. One thing that we did notice about the the kit is that it looks like you have to solder something on here. Um, however, according to the uh, documentation we're not going to have to solder anything there's clamps that are going to be included in the kit so we'll just follow that instruction now if we do need to solder them we usually like to solder and we'll go ahead and solder those wires on um, as needed so we're going to start off by building this out let me just make sure now the gearbox includes a manual it's not in English 100 percent but it is illustrated so Let's see here. What are the pieces? I'm just trying to get familiar with what we've got. Looks like it has here a hex shaft. Do we have any hex shafts here? Sure enough. Yep, there's some hex shafts in here. Okay, so this is step one of building the gearbox. So we have two motors. Alrighty. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way. Kind of empty this out. So we have a little inner bag of goodies here. We have some, uh, as they call them, hex shafts, an Allen key, some lube here, and two screws of some sort. Alrighty, so looks like there are three hex shafts and one circular one. The circular one is smaller than the rest. Okay. And it basically says that we're going to have to go ahead and plug this into the 12T pinion gear. So it looks like both of these bags are identical. They include two of these bags. They both look identical to me. I see the exact same parts in both. So I'm going to assume one is for one side and one is for the other. Okay. So I see some little plastic pieces there. I'm not sure if these are supposed to break off or not yet. But let's go ahead and start off with this one. So I believe this is supposed to break off. Sure enough, there it goes. And we're going to grab one of these hex and these slip right in there. Okay. So it just fits in like so. I mounted it flush. Now the next step is, says go ahead and take the M3 piece. So let's see if this is M3 anywhere. This is M2. Sure enough, here is M3. So this just kind of snaps off. There you go. Now when I snap these off, I like to just make sure that it's has no extra plastic anywhere. Just to keep it smooth. I normally wouldn't be doing this with this type of tool, but uh, those are my handy uh, wire cutters that cut through just about anything. Okay, so it says now this piece is going to go in something here into A. I'm not seeing how, so it looks like we made a boo boo. So let's take this out. Got to flip it around, actually. Sure enough, just so you can see that. So this part here goes to the outside instead of to the inside, how we had it. 
and supposedly that's supposed to go right into there. So, is that the case here? Feels, doesn't feel right, so let me just kind of double check the other ones here. So, let's see. Okay, so this is going to go in there somehow. Not really sure how that's going to go in there just yet. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is that this hex shaft is going to actually go into there. Okay, so there we go. It doesn't have to sit anywhere, it just kind of goes in. So we've got that in. It's as much as it's going to go. Okay, so now it looks like the next part here hmm, this is a little misleading because now it says basically take the gear hub and put it there instead ah, I see what they're doing they're just using this as a jig okay so let's take the other side here and we're going to position these uh, gear hubs such that we can screw them in. Now they take a special screw and it should have an Allen key on it. I'm assuming. Oh, I don't see any Allen keys in here. There they are. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of move this out of the way for right now. Spill out these screws here. Sure enough, there they are. They're really tiny. They don't even look like they belong anywhere. Sure enough, there we have it. So what I like to do is before you actually screw them onto the hub or onto the shaft, just kind of give them a quick turn. And I'm just kind of eyeballing it here a little bit. And what I'll do is I just tighten it enough so that I can move it up and down and it won't come off. And I'm going to use this plastic piece again as a jig. And then I'm going to go ahead and tighten that on there. Okay. So that's in place. See how many times we have to do that. Okay, so, yep, sure enough, we're going to have to make two of these. Let's go ahead and grab this. Grab the other screw. Oops. Be careful not to lose these guys because there are only two in this kit. And once you lose them, you've lost them. Now I'm just kind of doing this backwards because I know how to do it now. I'm going to eyeball it. Now the second piece is found in the other baggie. So I'm just going to open up and get that one piece from that baggie. Okay, now there's a little plastic thing on there you gotta take off. And we're, again, we're just gonna use, kind of just shove it in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of line it up here real quick just to kind of eyeball it.
Okay, so now we're going to use this part as the jig. Okay, now this part here. So that's tightened up. Alright, so we have these two done. So let's see what's next. So that was step one of the gearbox assembly. Step two is just basically mashing all these pieces together now. Um, this looks like it might be a little tricky. We're basically going to be taking M1 and M3. Okay, so what it looks like is that M3, which is this part that we've been using as a jig, is going to be used as the centerpiece, whereas M1 and M2 are these other identical pieces they will form the outside portion of the kit or of the, the gear box itself okay so we don't need that piece there's still some pieces on here so I'm not gonna throw this away just yet so let's just kind of get a feel for how this is gonna go so let's see here sure enough okay that's gonna be pointing backwards like so and eventually it's going to be closed in like that somehow. So let's see how that works. What I'm going to do is, while I work on this, I'm going to actually zoom into this because it's a smaller component. Okay, so here you have it. So you can see we created these two parts right here. And now we're going to go ahead and we're going to attempt to put together. So here. So we're definitely going to have to use some of these. Okay, so that's done with for now. And then how's this going to work? We're only going to use one of these. Let's see. Do, 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 do. So now we got to put all these pieces together. <laughs> 